Hi and welcome back to Cut the Craggle. This is my fourth Throwback Thursday review video looking at the 2013 LEGO The Lone Ranger theme. If you haven't already, be sure to check out the previous three videos. But today, we are looking at this, the Cavalry Builder set. This is the smallest set in the theme, with only 69 pieces. Back when it was released, it went for $11.99 here in the UK which gives it a price to part value of over 17 pence a piece. Not great, but this does come with four minifigures as well as a Lego horse. Let's take a closer look. So here it is, all built up. Now, I think it's important to remember that essentially, this is the theme's battle pack. Battle packs, of course, are small sets that contain an assortment of generic minifigures and are often seen as sets used to build your army. And that's exactly what this is called, the Cavalry Builder Set. With that in mind, the main focus here is not meant to be on the builds, but the figures. That said, I think what you get here is pretty nice. First up, you have this wooden wall defence. It's the kind of thing that if you did buy multiples of this set, you could still use to form part of a bigger surrounding wall or encampment with a cavalry flag up top, that's a sticker on either side. Then you have this tiny campfire assembly. There's not a lot to it, but it does the job. And Lego give a single turkey drumstick to feed all three of the soldiers. Behind that we have this cavalry cannon. It's based around the same piece used atop the sheriff building in the Colby City Showdown set. Once again you get four of these one by one round bricks and you're meant to just pop one in, pull back and never see it again. Finally we have the Lone Ranger's trusty steed Silver. Silver is your standard Lego horse, this time in white. One thing I haven't shown you in the previous videos is that if you remove the minifig and the saddle piece they also give you these little pieces to fill in the gap so you can have the horse without the saddle. You could, if you want, even put a minifig riding on top still. Looks a little silly, but you can do it if you want. Here are the three cavalry minifigures. They all have the same legs, hats and printed torsos, which works just fine. They do come with different headpieces, so you get a bit of variety there. No alternate expressions, of course, because they'd be visible under their hats. And once again, the Lone Ranger minifig is exactly the same as in every set in this theme. And I think that is what lets this set down. It's meant to be something you can buy multiples of and build up a cavalry army. The builds here and the three cavalry minifigs are all generic enough to do just that. But then you have the Lone Ranger. He comes in every set in this theme, so that already makes him a bit surplus here, but if you buy more than one of these builder sets, you're going to end up with a pile of useless duplicates. Likewise with Silver. In this theme, Silver is meant to stand out as the recognisable white horse of the Lone Ranger. So using it for other figs kind of makes it seem less special. It would have been better to have included another cavalry minifig and a different colour horse. Also, it's a minor complaint, but how do you make a cavalry set and leave out a trumpet piece? What do you think of the cavalry builder set? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Laters.